Okay, I'm so excited. I have Professor Dana York on the, uh, on the call here, and uh, she's going to tell us about Bastille Day celebration Sunday, July 14th here. It's an important event, and it's important. Uh, one is because Bastille Day, what it represents is independence. Two is because it's a charity event that Dana's uh, actually a real doctor, but she's also involved in uh, in orphans and and helping others and part of the Lions Club of, of which we've uh, done many shows on. Dana, how are you? Wonderful. Thank you for having me. And thank you for all your wonderful work for the peace, for New York, um, and for being such a good friend of our Lions Club. Well, it's an honor to be part of the Lions Club. And uh, as we have for so, so many, I got a lot of good friends in there. And every time we do something, it's it's marvelous. Now, what's happening here this Sunday here in New York? That's the old day. We're going to have the best party ever, a French party with cocktails and dance. Guess where? At the Copacabana in New York. Beautiful. We will have the most amazing of times, the most amazing of times. Uh, we are doing this uh, mission, this event, for the victims of gender-based violence and all goes to the children from the orphanage where uh, they have um, a learn and is for their education and their scholarships. So please come and dance and have fun with us. We will show um, many French foods and drinks like pastis and Quille Royale and Tartartan. So it's a must. You must come. Merci, madame. Uh, I uh, um, am very appreciative of the kind of work you do. I know about you. You're a do-gooder. And this is coming from the heart. And I'll be frank with you, orphans for me. Actually, I'm part of my, well, my buddy, Jim Luce, who's a, a very prominent uh, Lions uh, Club member. Uh, we, uh, I'm part of his board for the Orphans International. Uh, because I believe, uh, and he's very involved with the, the Lions Club, um, uh, he's sponsored me uh, if I want. I, I just he's, oh, it's, uh, he's in Queens and so on. But the point of the matter is, if you can help an orphan, that is for me personally, I believe it is is beautiful, if not more beautiful than having your own child. <laughs> they need you. They literally need you, right? Why do you do this? These are not only orphans. These are orphans that they have been abused. So their children that have been victims, survivors of gender-based violence. So when he's um, a child, cannot at all defend it himself or herself, uh, this orphanage have both boys and girls and I met them in person when I went to Africa, to Tanzania. I met them. I got involved with them. I know them now for three years. For that reason, we founded the New York uh, Agape Foundation Lions Club to really try to build something because some of the orphans, uh, children, then one of them, she's 13 years old. She got pregnant by rape by her brother and her parents, they tried to poison her by, uh, uh, to, to have her die by poisoning and starvation. So she arrived to the orphanage in a shock and she really needs a scholarship. She's a child herself with a child. The thing is, they live in terrible conditions. There are 74 children in one room. Three, they are just born uh, by mother's children. Um, they were born as being part of the this orphanage, this school, this uh, survivor house where the police bring the victims. Uh, the younger victim of gender-based violence, she's four years old. And then one boy, six years old, saved from pedophilia prostitution, where he was put in danger by his grandmother, together with 
his handicapped sister, one year older than him, that means seven years old. And then majority of victims, they are 10, 11, uh, either victim of rape, multiple years of that, uh, forced marriage, mutilation, you know how they were doing in the Maasai and other countries, they were doing uh, mutilation of uh, girls, uh, forced label. But um, now in the group of girls and boys that are there, none of them is mutilated and none of them have AIDS. And they are giggly and fun and they forgot everything that happened to them. And they are smart and they have good attention. And they deserve any chance in the world. And so we, if we can do that much to help them, it goes a long way for them. They are so grateful. And they're good, good children. They're good dancers too. They dance. <laughs> Dana, you're, and, uh, Dana you're, 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 this is serious stuff. And, uh, and, I, and I praise you. And uh, we'll be there, definitely. And uh, so it's Sunday. Uh, it's at uh, the Copacabana. It's, it's what, 625 uh, uh, West 51st Street. It's a great, a great uh, facility. I've been there many, many a time. Um, I, I love it there. In fact, uh, we threw a lot of parties at the Copacabana for many, many years. Uh, it's historic. So it's a French flair because of the, Dana and her, 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 I say, upbringing and her DNA. She's as French as French can be. And so... Uh, uh, join us. Uh, is there a website? How do people find out and how do people come? It's a minimal, I can't even believe how reasonable a little donation charity you're asking for also. Where, where do people go and what do they do? How do they come? They come at 625 51st Street. Um, they can see the river as well. And uh, it's at 4 p.m., it's free parking, lots of parking, 625 51st Street. They can go on the COPA website or they can uh, just come. Beautiful. All right. I love you. Thank you. Love you more. <laughs> Merci, madame. Thank you.